Hello, here is a tip to speed up things when using the Bath Workbench, creating job templates. As you have seen in my videos, for each operation or group of operations, I just select the body, click on the job, set the parameters, set the processor, set the tool bit, and so on. But I really find it annoying to repeat that over and over again for each job that I have to do. So I'll show you how to create and to use job templates. In order to be able to create a job template, I have to create a job first. So I created a basic body. I select it, go to the create job button. And here is my job. So I'll set it up as I like to use it with a zero millimeters extensions. Even if I use uh, extend models bounding box, I prefer to extend it with zero. It's something that I usually do and it's pretty useful in a lot of situations. Then I'll go to output, set the processor to GRBL because that's what I usually do. And the, the tools, let's say I want to make a template for the six millimeters and mill that I use a lot when milling hardwood. So the parameters are 3000 millimeters per minute for the horizontal and vertical speed and 1800 5000 rpm for the spindle i delete the default tool a lot of hardwoods are easily milled with this type of uh, cutter with these speeds i'll click ok now i go to the job open it and go to the setup sheet here i can find some more parameters that i want to change to have them the same for each uh, job first of all i want to modify the step down because uh, by default it has the tool diameter which is six millimeters in my case and it's kind of too much so i like to use half of the tool diameter for the step down so i'll modify the default formula for step down you can see here it's called uh, this field is called step down expression so here i have an expression it's up to diameter divided by two i also want to modify the clearance height and safe height the offset of the heights not the clearance height itself because uh, if the body is higher or lower i want this to modify accordingly i usually use a 35 millimeters offset because that's the height of the clamps that i use and for the horizontal rapids and vertical rapids i leave zero because this results in the CNC moving at its top speed which is what I want. I click on the recompute or refresh button and now I have my job ready to make a template out of it. First of all let's make sure everything is okay. Let's create a simple profile operation. I won't select any geometry. This means it will simply cut the outline of the whole body. I'll click on apply. I can easily see that the tool bit will go much higher than the stock that I'm cutting. I also can see there's a pretty high number of layers which means the step down is as it should be half of the tool bit but I I prefer to go to the depth tab and make sure I have a step down of three millimeters because I have a tool of six millimeters. If I click on the expression button, I can see that the expression that I entered in the setup sheet is the one used here. For the heights, I make sure everything is okay, even though visually it's obvious they are okay. And at the operation tab, there's nothing I can change that resides in the job template. And now that I've set everything up in the job, I can select it, go to the path menu, and click on export template. Here I can select a couple of things, post-processing, yes, I want to export the GRBL post-processing, the tools, which is just one tool in this case, a six millimeter end mill, yes, I want to export that too. The setup sheet with operation heights, depth, I want them exported as well. The stock with the extent, I want to export the placement it's not really that important because there are a lot of situations when I have to rotate the object so I go to, to the model group of the job and rotate the model so now I can click OK it automatically took me to the folder with a macro here I want to name it six millimeters hardwood and let's call it job template first make sure I know what this is all about and click on save now the job template is created but to make sure everything works okay i will simply delete this job and now select the body again click on create new job but instead of clicking okay i will go to the top in the template part of the window and i will select the template that i just created job template six millimeters hardwood now i can click ok and as you can see i can check everything here output is set to grbl the setup has extensions to zero millimeters on all directions the tool is a six millimeters end mill with the speeds that I set up earlier, so everything is okay. I can click on the OK button, the job is created. Just to make sure, I will create the same operation, a profile, click on apply, and as you can see, the operation is exactly as it was 
before and now I can use this template anytime that I'm milling hardwood with a 6mm end mill. There are a lot of times that I do this so this template will be very useful. So if you have just a couple of setups that you usually use you can easily create templates for each of them and everything will be much faster. Thank you for watching and see you next time for the next tip or trick that I'm going to show you about FreeCut Cam.